So when it comes to buying a pre-built gaming computer, if you're in the market for something but you're trying to save a little bit of money, I'm still seeing today computers at Best Buy and even on Amazon that have either the 1650, a 1660 Super, or even the RX 580. Now, typically these computers can be found from anywhere from six to eight hundred dollars and i was curious to know in 2024 is it still a good purchase if you're trying to save money to buy one of these pre-built gaming pcs my concern is that you would spend your money whenever you could save a little bit and buy something that has maybe a 3060 in it with more ram or whatever the configuration may be i would hate for somebody to spend their money only to have to spend more to upgrade it to be able to have a good gaming experience uh, on anything more than just low settings. So what I decided to do was I found this Digital Storm PC on Marketplace that came with a 1650 and it only had eight gigs of RAM so I just upgraded that but I wanted to see if the 1650, 1660 Super and RX 580 is still a good option with some more modern titles. Now, some of these games like Red Dead Redemption 2 did come out in around 2018, so it would be about the time this tech was really new. But in 2024, whenever you search for demanding PC games, you still come up with Red Dead Redemption 2, Cyberpunk, and I went ahead and threw in The Last of Us Part 1, even though that was made and it's just a remake, but I also decided to throw in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and Hogwarts Legacy. If you were trying to buy a gaming PC, would this still be an option if you wanted to have a good experience uh, by today's standards? So what I've done was I've taken this computer, it was absolutely disgusting, but I did end up going through, cleaning it out real quick, uh, make sure that everything from the airflow to the thermal paste, uh, everything was going to be good to go. Now this does have an i7-9700F, so it does have eight cores for the CPU. So we're not going to have any bottleneck on that. I want to make sure that these GPUs have a fair shake, but also to see if it's going to be beneficial to buy this. And I will show some computers on the screen, as you can see, uh, Best Buy listings that have, even in my local area for 550, there is a cyber power PC that comes with a 1650 but you can also see that you've got options for a 3060 that would be a much greater deal in my opinion if you just saved a little bit more and i don't know if you've ever heard of the saying buy nice or buy twice but i try to keep that motto in my mind whenever i'm spending a big chunk of change on something like this to make sure that i don't end up buying something that i end up having to turn around and upgrade and basically the upgrades cost what i would have had if i just spent it the first time so Let's go ahead, we've got this thing all cleaned out. We're gonna go ahead and throw these GPUs in, run some tests, get some benchmark numbers, and let's go ahead and see how this turns out. As you can see, these older games like Fortnite and Rocket League did not have any issues running these games at medium to or high settings. And surprisingly, games like Red Dead Redemption 2 set at a preset high level uh, actually got good performance as well. All of these GPUs actually surprised me. I will say that I know that some of the later titles are starting to require more VRAM. So some of these cards like the 1650 that has four gigs of VRAM and the 1660 Super that has six gigs are kind of on that line whenever it comes to being able to run these even at low settings. As you can see, these GPUs still have a little bit of life left in them. And now before you beat me up in the comments about modern gaming and these GPUs. I am aware that Red Dead Redemption 2 came out in 2018 and Cyberpunk was in 2020, not long after these GPUs came out. But my main thing was these were some of the games whenever I searched that had some of the most demanding requirements. Um, that's why I also threw in Hogwarts Legacy, which it didn't seem to have many issues on this. But if there are any other games uh, that you would like to see, I'll gladly create a short of them, even if I have to buy the games like Star Citizen or something like that. And uh, just let me know below what games you would like to see. As far as these GPUs go, if you're looking for a gaming PC right now and you are on a budget, there is a little bit of life that you could still get some gaming performance out of these. My thing is I would not necessarily recommend it. Like I said earlier, if you can save a little bit more and maybe invest in a $200 and get a gaming PC that may have 16 gigs of RAM 
plus an additional GPU like um, even a 3050, but a 3060 for that $800, $900 price tag, I would highly recommend going ahead and spending that extra cash so you'll be able to have a PC that you can use for a longer period of time. You've got plenty of time with uh, the added VRAM and it's just a better buy instead of purchasing this and then having to upgrade it down the road. Now, that's always a viable option. Possibly if you end up getting gifted a PC like this from maybe your older brother, or you got a friend that's ready to throw his out the door um, that may have a 1650 in it and you're gonna get it for a couple hundred bucks, which I do buy PCs all the time with 1650s and 1660s in them. That would be easy to upgrade with something like this RTX 4060 that costs you $299. So there's always options out there, but as if you find something that's brand new right out of the box with one of these GPUs, I would personally wait a little bit longer. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate y'all's time spent here. As always, please feel free to like and subscribe and let me know what else you'd like to see below. I've got a ton of content coming out soon. So if there's anything additional you'd like me to see, and like I said, if there's any other games that you would like to see me test these three GPUs, I don't care to uh, reinstall drivers or anything along those lines to make sure that y'all get everything you want. Thank y'all so much. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I'll catch you next time. Hey, are you still there? Don't forget to check this video out right here. This one, this one right here. Not only that, make sure you click right here so you're subscribed and you do not miss upcoming content.